Hello, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for joining. My name is Kat, and we are back for another Nintendo Switch accessories haul. We all seem to enjoy the last cute accessories unboxing, and I found some more that I can't wait to share with you. By the way, if you love all things Nintendo Switch, we talk a lot about it on this channel lately, so please consider sticking around and checking out my other videos and subscribing. These items were kindly sent to us by the shops, but as always, all opinions are my own, and if you like it, I will be leaving all the information I can find on the description below. I know a lot of the items from the last video actually sold out after the video went live, so I'm so sorry about that. I ended up following up with these sellers then for you guys, and they are always restocking as soon as they can, so please be patient and just keep checking on those links. So I think a couple of these packages are actually from the same company called Fun Lab. I'm just gonna pick a random one and start going in. I did end up cutting the packages open before the video just so we can save some time and I wanna make sure that none of these have my personal information, but I haven't peeked inside so I can't wait. This first one here is from Fun Lab and okay. So this is our first item and as you can see, this is Tom Nook, our favorite debt collector from Animal Crossing. This should be a case for the Nintendo Switch. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> this is their case for the full Nintendo Switch. It is a faux leather material and any other information that you might want to look up on it will be on the website, of course, but it is a slim pouch and it is magnetized by these two little clasps and it looks like you can put five games in this it's got a matching um, care card <laughs> that is also tom nook on it so tom nook is actually a cutout and it is sewed onto the case so it gives that sort of 3d effect it's adorable oh my gosh i can't wait to put my switch in this <laughs> you will definitely be seeing me using these for my switch by the way so feel free to check out my instagram page i will leave it right here and down below next item and oh my gosh this is our next item it's another carrying case for the switch but instead of tom nook it's from their pokemon collection and of course it's our big boy <laughs> snorlax it's the same type of packaging very straightforward you guys will see it before me that looks so cool. Look at that. Is it? Is it bigger than the last one? Oh, okay. I completely missed that, you guys. So the Tom Nook one is actually for the Switch Lite and the Snorlax one is the full-size Switch. So you can see the size difference here. I don't know how I missed that. In all fairness, the Tom Nook case does look very spacious for the light, so it should fit it no problem. Similar to the Tom Nook case, his face is also sewn on in the front. This definitely feels like a clutch, and I might have mentioned on the first haul that I love purses. This could be very well used as a clutch instead of just a Nintendo Switch case, so not oppose that at all. Same thing with the Tom Nook case. You can hold five games at the front right there. Same care card, <laughs> but this time it's Snorlax. I love the little details on products like this. I am a sucker for packaging. It really works, you guys. One more thing in the bag with the Snorlax case. And what is this? Okay, this is their game card case. Don't you just love their boxes, you guys? I love how it matches the products inside so well. It is the Pokédex. Just quickly rip that off. Hopefully that is zooming. We'll do the YouTuber thing. And <laughs> So three on one side and three on the other. This is a nice compact card case. It should just be about the size of like a bank card and it is very slim as well to be holding six games so that's pretty impressive if you've seen my nintendo switch must have accessories video i did mention a game card case on there i think that it definitely comes in handy let's just say if you're carrying this snorlax case and you only have slots for five games you might want to carry a little bit more 
then this is a really easy option for you to have and be able to carry way more. For me personally, I love game card cases because sometimes I just put my switch without a case inside my purse when I'm carrying a smaller purse. So it helps to have these little slim, low profile game cases to throw in with my switch. It really saves space while keeping your games protected, of course. <laughs> Okay, we've got this giant box from Fun Lab as well. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Fun Lab. It doesn't even fit on my table right now because I have the other cases right in front of me. So I'm just gonna try to do this on my lap. We've got <laughs> two items in there. I'm gonna start with the little one. Let me just set that down for a second. The first item that I pulled out there is this one. I think that it has to be another one of their cases. We are getting spoiled by Fun Lab today. There we go. How does it look? You're seeing it before me again. So that is the cutest thing ever. Okay, so obviously Tom Nook once again and the little guys Timmy and Tommy. This actually perfectly matches the dock for the Animal Crossing Edition Nintendo Switch and I adored it so much. The one detail I noticed right away that is different on this one is the sort of scallop cut right here. The same idea with the five games, another card, there you go. All right, so the box, they do, again, they do an amazing job with the boxes, you guys. It, perfectly showcases the product that is inside. Here at the front it says, play anytime, anywhere, with anyone. Let's try to open this. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need to invest in a bigger unboxing table for the next time. <laughs> Look at this. This is a huge bag. You can see that it's almost as big as me. <laughs> and oh my goodness, the little zippers are little ears. Let's check out the inside. So you can fit absolutely everything you could ever need for your Switch in this bag. So there's a slot for the dock, for a Pro Controller, a couple extra Joy-Cons, your charger, and the Switch itself, of course. This is a very hefty bag, and it's nice because it is a hard shell carry case as well, so you know that your Switch will be well protected in this. Whereas with the slim cases, of course it still offers a lot of protection, but it is a softer pouch, so I feel like this is a really good sort of fashion case for the Switch. I would assume a case like this is for traveling with your Switch or even just for storage, and so safekeeping. This will definitely do an amazing job at any of those things. Oof, I feel like we got a workout with unboxing that one, but we have one last box from Fun Lab, and it is a wireless controller. So they gave me the turquoise color. This looks like it would perfectly match the Switch light of the similar color. They do have other really cool looking controllers on their website as well that I was able to look at. It looks like we've got another product card and just some instructions and the controller itself. Anything else in there? We've got the charging cable for that as well and it looks like it is a USB-C cord. Oh, it's already blinking. So it's definitely got some juice in there, but this looks very cool. I love the white buttons and I love the color. It is really heavy. It's got a little bit of weight to it, which is great in my opinion because I would assume more affordable alternatives for the official Pro Controller might show some downgrades with the quality, but this one feels really great. Of course, I will be doing more tests on this on the Switch, but it is made specifically for the Nintendo Switch. It's got all the right buttons for it and it should pair very seamlessly on your devices as well. And they threw in a set of these thumb grips as well. These are the brown ones and they're going to go perfectly with the Tom Nook case here. So I will definitely be putting this on my Switch Lite. Thank you so much to Fun Lab. This is a lot of really cool items that I can't wait to try out for my Switch. Definitely keep an eye out on my Instagram page if you want to see 
updates on all of these items. As well, they did offer a coupon code for my lovely viewers. Use code CAT20 for 20% off your entire purchase with Funlab. Again, I'm not affiliated in any way, you guys. They're just incredible people and I have some friends who have purchased from them in the past as well and they have nothing but great things to say. We have one final thing to mention. It was actually also included in our last haul and that is Stogatech. First, I want to thank Fixture Gaming for sponsoring a portion of this video. Fixture Gaming offers the Fixture S1 and carrying case, an accessory mount that lets you use your pro controller on the go. If you love handheld gaming like myself, then you're always looking for ways to play your Switch as comfortable as possible on the go. But the most comfortable way to play with your Switch is probably with the pro controller. The S1 allows you to use your pro controller in the most travel-friendly and compact way possible. This accessory mount connects your Nintendo Switch to the pro controller for ergonomic comfort. Besides handheld gaming, it can also be used in tabletop mode, so it's not just for single-player gaming, but multiplayer too. A two-axis system is included in the Fixture S1's thoughtful design, with hinges that allow you to quickly and easily adjust the height and angle of the Switch screen. Unlike other controller mounts, the Fixture S1 lets you reposition the screen to the center of the controller, which is the most balanced and comfortable way to play because of the Switch tablet's weight. The mount has a snap-in design for the controller and slide-in design for the Switch to ensure ease of use whenever you want to put it on or take it off. Fixture really wanted to keep this as simple and accessible as possible but also travel-friendly. The mount and controller, even with a switch attached to it, can remain extremely portable and fits incredibly in the carrying case designed for this. It's made of a protective hard shell case which can carry 10 games and has a zipper pocket that can easily fit a charger as well, so you can bring along your entire switch setup with you. To learn more about Fixture Gaming and the S1, visit FixtureGaming.com or check out the links down below. I hope you guys can check them out. Sponsors are really helpful to the channel so I can continue making more content for you guys like this one to hopefully enjoy. <laughs> Thank you again to Fixture Gaming for the sponsor. If you remember the adorable little blue controller that I unboxed that day, they sent us one of their latest controllers and I can't wait to check it out. So much packaging. <laughs> All right, look how adorable. This is their Pana controller. All their products seem to be well-deserving of the cute title. And at the bottom, you get the user manual and another USB-C cable. So similar to the little blue controller, that we unboxed in my last cute accessories haul. They did an incredible job with this one again. I love that the little nose and ears are actually buttons. So it goes so perfectly with the panda theme, of course. And on the sides, it's got little paw prints. I love this controller. I already loved the first controller and I've been using it a lot since my last unboxing. So thank you so much Sogatech for another adorable controller. Well that is it for now for another cute Nintendo Switch accessories unboxing. Let me know down below if you are excited to pick up any of these or if you already own them and you're currently enjoying them. A big shout out again to Funlab and Stogatech for your really cool Nintendo Switch products and for letting me unbox them on this channel. Thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you next time.